forever. Dog. From the spacious Forever Dog Studios in Los Angeles, California, and the satellite Forever Dog Studios in Baltimore, Maryland, this is Groomzilla. And now your host, Dan Gill and Eric Dorian. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh. oh, hi, Dan. I didn't see you there. Oh, my God. Imagine, suddenly... imagine meeting, seeing you here, of all places. Yeah, this is really funny. I know, but... Can I be honest with you? I come here what? all the time. Oh my god, so do I. Oh my god, I didn't never see you. That's so I know. funny. I know. What is it with this stuff? <laughs> stop. You stop. That is so funny. Oh my god, get out of here. Are you serious right now? I think I'm going to start talking like this because I often will start a sentence and not really know where it's going. Oh my god. And then this way, I can figure it out by the time yeah. I stop talking. I think one of the main reasons people mm-hmm. kind of talk like this is yeah. just what you're saying. It's because they no. don't know where they're going. And yeah. if someone else can jump in and maybe f- mm-hmm. finish their yeah. thoughts for them. Sentence? Yeah. And I don't think it's like a <laughs> regional thing. I, I don't. I think it's all over the world. I think that it's, people talk slow because they're dumb. Yeah, I think. <laughs> no, they don't talk slow because they're dumb. No, no, no. I think some people might talk slow because they're dumb. Actually, dumb people don't talk at all. They affect it. That's true. If, I do, if but I mean, if we're talking about the real. But the, I have a podcast. Speaking of a podcast, real definition. How you doing, Eric? Oh my god, I'm fantabulous. Cleaned the shit out of the house today. It was really all over the place. Oh man, we're getting organized too. Organi- organization okay. is where it's oh, at I for cl- me. I cleaned out the fridge. Oh, that's a big one. You got some motors coming yeah. out? Is that what is that what spurred that? Well, Drew, I think we've talked about this before. Drew uh is a baker yes. and a kitchen scientist. Mm-hmm. So there's all kinds of stuff. That little I beakers and uh, you know, well, I mean the beaker version of like it's just like vials, unmarked Tupperware, unmarked regular ass Tupperware that she hoards from Thai places. Yeah, that should not be rewatched, rewashed and reused. Yeah, she does it. Oh my god, Wendy does the same thing. She's like, we can yeah. reuse this. I'm like, this is no, you can't. Garbage. This is why are we washing garbage? <laughs> not plastic. <laughs> we need to throw it away. Yeah, this is something that I mean. Yeah, so I did it, and then I was I'm kind of firm with what we what she would throw out and not, but she is too because eventually we'll just have a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. But there's there was some stuff in there that I found that was uh, that I called the no doubt abouters <laughs> that I don't even ask the no doubt abouters. This is this is a no doubt about this her. This one's gone. This is a no doubt about her. No doubt about it. No questions no asked. It's no doubt. No doubt about it. This uh-huh. is a no doubt about her. Not about her. <laughs> not about her. Get your not about us. No doubt about her. Sometimes not about us um, or no doubt about us. I can't believe it's not butter because it's no butter. It's another butter. No doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Sorry. I sometimes. And then so that was you know I felt so accomplished though after i did it and it was not that much work oh well it's important to set a goal and then meet Mm. your goal and let yourself Mm. know hey this goal has been met and uh no i said no (laughs) but no 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 i was just thinking it's like i because i i I threw out a bunch of stuff but i didn't want to throw it out in our regular ass trash i wanted it to be separate because it was all food stuffs Mm. But then I went to the next room and I and our kitchen is the hottest room in the house because the air conditioning and the fan doesn't go anywhere near mm-hmm. the kitchen. Mm-hmm. It's always really hot in there. Yeah. And so, so I took out all this food that was rotting and to throw it away. And I left it in a garbage bag in the middle of our hot ass kitchen because oh, I went to the next room to get high and jump on Twitter. Oh, boy. Hit a couple of hot tweets. Oh, then I'm getting boy. high. And then I go back in the kitchen, forget about it. There's the cats are bothering with it. The cats found yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Garbage is done. So, yeah. Take take the garbage out. It's done. Yeah. 
Take me out. Take me out. Eric, if you can't stand the heat in the kitchen. Take my take me out. That's a no doubt about her. <laughs> yeah, that's a no doubt about her. That's a swing and a drive left field. That's a no doubt about her. Oh, Vin's back. Vin, Vin thanks for joining. <laughs> it's time for Groomzilla. <laughs> He'd be a great get. He's been married for like 70 years or something, right? <laughs> 87 years. He's been married for 87. Well, speaking when of the, I, speaking of the boys in blue, you 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 uh, brought up an interesting topic before we jumped on I air did. here. I think it was interesting for yeah. me to say this. And producer Brad agreed we should go with it. We should run with it on air. It's an interesting yeah. thought. See, okay, because I'm watching baseball now. I swore off baseball. I needed at least until the all-star break to heal from last October's half the season emo- you swore off emotional drubbing. Yeah. That I took the Personally. Dodgers didn't get drubbed. The Dodgers lost in seven games, but as a fan who is as emotionally invested as uh, I am, uh-huh. took a drubbing, took a drubbing. That's too bad. That's terrible to hear. I took a, a no doubt about a drubbing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, so now I'm watching I was right around the All-Star game and then Manny Machado getting traded. Mm-hmm. Also married Groomzilla. Manny, if you're listening, we'd love to have you on the podcast. Three open, I'm looking at three open seats right now in the studio. Um, so I'm watching the game and I'm noticing things from the dudes that had that got married. There's so many. Obviously, last year's Dodger team, no, there's a no doubt about a secret, that they – rallied around Kenley Jensen's wedding. Mm -hmm. And that was a big uh, kind of camaraderie moment. Everyone went to the wedding. Before the 2017 season. Right. Yeah. So, and then, then a bunch of them because of the Kenley Jensen wedding, which is what happens in weddings when one, when one friend gets married. uh Oh, here we go. with what happened to us? Yep. Uh, Everyone got engaged. Alex Wood got engaged. Jack Peterson got engaged. Who am I missing? Justin Turner. Justin Turner. Turner. Jump. Jump in here, Dan. Who else? Ryu got uh, married. Yeah, Rio Hinjin. Um, so they all Did got Chris married. Taylor, Chris Austin. Taylor was already married. Chris Taylor, I think, was already married. Yeah. Um, but I was just thinking. I'm thinking, huh? Like, yeah, they're pros. They're playing in the World Series in October, but they've got these weddings in the off season, mm-hmm. probably in the back of their minds. Yeah. Right. Not not and too then, far off because they have to be out, out, done and, and and married by you know spring training, so they're all getting yeah. married in the same few months. So now they're all married, and mm-hmm. here we are a year later, yeah. and here we go. You know, it's not July anymore. Summer's not getting any younger. No, <laughs> we're in August. Yeah, Ocostos, as yeah. we say in Armenian. Yeah, Ocostos. sure. Uh. So you're and saying they're coming with a different perspective as married men versus engaged yeah, men. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Dan. yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, I, I think that they, especially with Jock, I see it in Jock because, you know, no offense to Jock. He's he's a young dude. He's yeah. a young dude. And last year, and definitely came up in the World Series with a humongous home run. Jocktober. Jocktober. Uh, hashtag Jocktober. Uh, Peterson, if you listen in. Three open um, seats right here in the studio. Yeah, he the, the at bats that he's putting together. You're seeing some maturity, year. some maturity. It's a mature. It's a mature. If I can say mature. Yeah. Guy. It's yeah. a mature guy that yeah. I'm, I'm looking at here. Jock has a baby on the way. Also, I'm not sure about those other guys. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Oh yeah, Good boy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Eric, it's interesting well, you say that because a year ago at this time we were mm-hmm. in the same situation as these as these exactly. Dodgers. You know, we were. Place, yeah. I think mm-hmm. we're coming up on our one year anniversary of Groomzilla's, in fact. We um, are. It's a week or two away. Uh, a week or two. And uh, yeah, I mean, just where were you at a, a year ago at this time? You, I was in a I mean, completely Dan, different headspace. I mean, Dan, you can go back and listen to it. You, you can, can go back and we have a document. Mm-hmm. You can listen to us fumbling around. We're insecure about this. Just completely we're insecure lost. about that. We were worried about getting too drunk at our own wedding. Oh, what a. Imagine. Geez. Do you imagine? Can you imagine being in that f- wonder la la land where your only thing you're worried about is getting too yeah. drunk at your wedding? Yeah. Now, you know, we're married mm-hmm. and our whole in- 
entire head space. Are you doing the slow talking thing? Is, yeah. I, guess. <laughs> I mean, it is it is different. I definitely feel so much better right now than I then like. Oh. I want to go back if I can go back in time and kick the shit out of the guy that I was a uh-huh. year ago today. Yeah, I would. Well, I would I would confound him with riddles first. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Because that guy a year ago, me a year ago, and you also a yeah. year ago, yeah. doofuses, doofuses, oh my God. unmarried idiots. Yeah, just focusing Schmoes. on all the wrong things. Yeah. I mean, but you can't. It's you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. You have to go through it yeah. to see the to see. Oh, the way I would it confound out. year ago me, mm-hmm. year ago me, confound him with riddles. Would drink poison out of my own hand hmm. for my hand from now, you, present times. You would poison your past self. I think that might have some. That might hurt current self if you did that no 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 i don't think so that's uh, not the way this i'm works. not sure about time travel you- i i had, well what i know about is riddles and if you get confounded by a riddle from your future self you then, have to drink poison i mean that's usually the way that goes okay i'm looking at the clock here um uh-huh. it's uh, it's i'm sorry to interrupt you but it's uh mm-hmm. it's Oh my god. Yeah, it's time for the it's it's time for the Nup News at nine. Nuptial news at nine. It's Nup News at nine. The news of nuptials. Milk me. Welcome to Nuptial News, Nup News at Nine. Eric, what do we tell him every week? Milk me. <laughs> oh no, the other thing. If you if you're <laughs> <laughs> it's enough news at the nines. We do say milk me. Yeah, you say milk me every but week, which we also, you know you were not wrong we about. Also, that. no, I'm not. I'm not milk him. Milk cat. Why? Why do we think we call them the milk duds? Because you got to milk them. We're so full milk of milk. Mm-hmm. Uh, no nuptial news. Just try to do it on the nines, guys. Uh, nine a.m., nine p.m. Or you know, on- if you if you can, it's no big deal. But if you can, it would be nice. Yeah, it's just going to, you know, it's for your benefit. As It doesn't affect us one way or the other. It's just if you maybe, really. And maybe if you do, maybe if you do, maybe you uh, tweet at us something like our catchphrase, which would be like, hit them at the nines. <laughs> we and have then, so many hashtag catchphrases. It's ridiculous. So if you do, oh, what did you do? That, you know, like if you were essentially like if there was a Groomzilla's shirt, it would say. I hit him at the nines and all I got was his t-shirt or something like that. Yeah. Yep. That would be fun. That's forthcoming. We do have merch coming. Um, but we yeah, have some merch. Tweet it at us. Tweet at Groomzilla's. Follow us at, at Groomzilla's pod. Glad you brought that up, Eric. Nuptial yeah. news. This is a big one. This one got picked up by a lot of outlets. You've probably yeah. already heard about it because we're recording this in advance. Sam's Club. The, the Sam's Club newsletter picked it up. <laughs> Uh, Sky Mall Magazine picked it up. Those both will run anything, uh, first of all. Yeah. My cousin's blog. Love at first sight. Identical twin brothers marrying identical twin sisters. Um, what do you think about this? Well, I think it's what everyone thinks about this. Um, weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> It's weird, man. Where was it? Do you know where the locale is? Is it Oregon? No, I think they're Michiganders. Uh, okay. Or they're, they're, yeah, they're in Grand Valley State University in Michigan is where oh, one brother and one sister met. And then for the first date, he brought uh, his brother and they thought we should all go out. Mm-hmm. And now they're all getting married at a joint ceremony. They're going to each have a, a, a wedding or they had a wedding on Friday and Saturday, and then a joint, um, what you might call it, party. So, yeah. and then they're going to move in together, which is, I think, is the, also they had separate. But they had separate ceremonies. Yeah, they one had Friday, one had Saturday, and then they did a joint. Um, why is this reception? They I mean, a, at least I feel like that to me. If you're gonna be this weird, <laughs> fucking own it. Do the simultaneous. Yeah, just do bows. it at the same time. Like you, like you you're, know? you're pretending as if you are not as weird as you are. You're right. Just, just layer yourself like some gross ass layer dip. Mm-hmm. On top of just a sour cream on top of fucking sour cream on top of sour cream on top of sour cream. Yeah, and then like I say, seven. I say, follow that through through the wedding night and just have a full yeah. full blown incest orgy. Yeah, yeah. 
because it's what we're all thinking. Make sure you get consent from your identical twins. Of course they're all consenting. They're all weirdos. That's probably what they're in it for. They're not weirdos. Yeah. I mean, they are sort of weird. I think this is kind of common in uh, in a twin, because I, I Googled the story, and there's another story of a different couple doing it. Twinning. Twinny. <laughs> Twinning. <laughs> there's another couple doing this that wasn't even, and this is this is kind of funny, because this other story was picked up so much. Uh, uh, I'm not going to know the names, but there's another couple in Ohio Mm-hmm. They're doing the same exact thing, but they weren't on the Today Show. Yeah. The, yeah. They didn't get picked up for some reason. They're not as... Hmm. I don't know what happened there. And they're getting married at Twins Day Festival. Oh, that's too fun. They or, No, fun. they're getting married in Twinsburg, Ohio, but they met at the Twins Day Festival. Oh, so a lot of twins Christ. marrying their identical... I don't know. I guess if, if you have the same DNA, it makes sense. And, you're f- and, you, and you want to fish for a reality show. You want to go, oh... Uh, Big time fishing. I mean, these property, property brothers. And, oh. l- and let me tell you, I saw I saw the first couple we were talking about on, t- on the Today Show. I watched the clip. Yeah. They are mm-hmm. they don't pop. They are not they are not reality really? show material. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that's why you know, fame is a fickle fickle finch, mm-hmm. and it will it will it will tweet at you one second and yeah. not tweet at you the second second. Yep. Because you are don't pop. You don't. Pop. I mean, obviously, I've talked about it. I didn't pop, and well, that's why I don't live in Hollywood anymore. So they kicked you out because you were too ugly. Simon Cowell mm-hmm. calls it the X factor, and he he used yeah. to do a television show about that. I don't have it in that first twinning couple. They don't have it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This other twinning couple, maybe. Oh, man, they got it. Maybe. They got it. No, they got it. They're so blonde and so white. Oh, do, are they you are, looking at them? Yeah. Oh God. Oh my God. They are just oof sour cream. Mm. Okay, sour cream and mayonnaise. Okay, maybe we get them on the podcast. That's gonna do it for nuptial news at nine. That was the nup news at nine. Milk me. Play the other music because it's time for I do's I don'ts. It's a good tune. It's a damn good tune. Are you okay? Oh, God, that's so good. What is it? What's the I do's and I don't? This is a fun one, Eric. I think you're going to have some fun with this. Oh, so this one's going to be the fun one. That's good. Well, oh, you didn't have fun on the last one? I, 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 had fun. I have fun every single second of every episode that we've ever had. I just like to give you a hard time because your your ego bear, begs to be torn down. Interesting. So I'm a prideful asshole. Great. <laughs> 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 I just see your fucking dumb fucking face and I want to tear it up. I want to tear it down. Your <laughs> ego has run amok, my friend. Ever since you got your LeBaron, oh, you've yeah. been a freaking nightmare. Listen, dude. if you lived in LA and actually saw my behavior day to day, you wouldn't even be talking <laughs> to me right now. You're like a billboard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Okay, this one's fun, Eric. This one really is fun. This is I do's, I don'ts. Yeah. But this is an article uh-huh. that already lays out the do's and don'ts for us. So we mm. just have to agree. Can um, we stop for a second? Can we stop? I feel bad about what I said. Everything I, I just said about you, I feel bad about. I don't think any of that is true, and I'm sorry. Um, not Let's have fun with Not accepting that oh, apology. My God, this is it. from what I assume to be a blog, as you suggested to me. My, cousin, my cousin's blog? This is your cousin's blog. This is from Friday, August 3rd, 2018, The Statesman. But it says New Mm. Delhi. So this is like, I guess, a a New Delhi-based story. Do's and don'ts for monsoon season. Sorry, do's and don'ts, do's and don'ts for monsoon wedding. That's real. They're going to lay it out. A lot of people love the thought of getting married during monsoon. Mm -hmm. But there are some things one needs to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. I'm just going to run down the do's for monsoon weddings. This first okay. one, this first one seems like an obvious one. Things you should do: first and foremost, keep the wedding indoors. Yeah, do. I would. I would also during if it's during mon, if we're talking monsoon weddings. Yeah, yeah, I'd go inside. I uh, know that here on Groomsville's we say get get wet, stay wet. <laughs> 
Yeah. But, but not literally. To a limit. Not to a, a degree. Not monsoon wet. Yeah. Uh, the next one is uh, 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 the, the wedding outfit can be matched to the theme of the season where one can opt for colors like peach, subtle gold, and hues of pink. Are those monsoon mm. Are those monsoon colors? I guess so. Yeah, I do to that. Yeah. Oh, hard I do. I love matchy-matchy. These are I do's, I don'ts for monsoon weddings. This, this third one, accessorize the wedding favors with umbrellas, cute raincoats, and other rainwear gear-like flip-flops. That's a hard do. Of you course. know what I love? And if there's one thing you want to know about me, it's this. I love form and function mm-hmm. equally. And what that is, is form and function, baby. You look good, you're having fun, but at the same time, you're helping people out. Yeah, because it's a monsoon wedding. Yeah. Uh, the final I do, keep a balanced approach towards the number of hot and cold beverages. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Sure, sure. I yeah. guess so. Yeah. Now, here's what you don't want to do during monsoon weddings, Eric, according uh-huh. to this, the statesman. Don't, what, don't do it. Don't, these are I don'ts. You don't have to agree, but this particular article says these are I don'ts. Monsoon is a bad time to wear eye makeup. Even waterproof makeup needs to be needs constant touch-ups. However, one can always bet on high-quality waterproof makeup to last longer and make less of a mess. So they're saying I don't to makeup? Uh, I'm going to I do to this just because I love attention at weddings, and nothing gets attention at weddings like some runny-ass mm-hmm. eye, eye mascara. Oh yeah, big time. Because I love it. I love when people come up to me and they go, "Are you okay?" What? I love that. I fucking <laughs> love that. Okay. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna wear makeup. I'm okay. Sorry. Even in the monsoon. Even, Even the in monsoon. the monsoon. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, I'll go with you on that. I do to makeup because I like what you said, and also you know it's a wedding. Maybe maybe um maybe doll it up a little bit, women. You're something to be looked at, and that's it. <laughs> oh, and i'm not even Dan, do i even have to do i even have to i'm a billboard i'm a billboard uh this you. is an, this is another i don't avoid heels and stilettos instead opt for wedges and even good old-fashioned uh duties that might be a new deli thing to go uh, to go with your clothes so this is another monsoon thing the ground is wet you can't you can't stand in the the pointy shoes sounds good yeah i don't do that um, this is another I don't for monsoon weddings. Unless you yeah. wish for the hem of your dress to be lined with brown slash black grime, do not opt for a floor length gown suit Mm-mm. or uh or designer dresses. Yeah, that seems pretty obvious to me. Yeah. So you, you don't would think so. Yeah. So you're not one of those guys where you see a muddied gown and it's not the, mm-hmm. the, that doesn't equate with like runny makeup for you. So you're an I don't on that. No. Well, the runny makeup is for myself. I was, I wasn't, I would never in a million years comment on any woman's whether or not they should or should not wear makeup in a million years would never. No, uh, nor so should anyone else, unless it's like, you know, your I wedding myself. day. And I think, I think you should <laughs> kind of, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit for the guys, for the guys. Zhuzh it up. Uh, zhuzh it up. Last, uh, last, yeah. Yeah. I don't. Zhuzh up, zhuzh up your, zhuzh up your, your, Cake, caked, mud caked dresses. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what's the last one? The last, the last one, one is what's a wedding without flowers? A monsoon wedding. Flowers tend to welt quickly in the humid weather, so one should avoid flower based decorations. Instead, go for a lightweight parachute material decorations such as drapes and gazebo. Even artificial flowers can be a great option. I'm with you. I don't. Don't on the on the flowers. Don't on the flowers. Apparently, not great yeah. during a monsoon wedding. Yeah, I mean, also flowers are not the most sustainable of, you know, they're pretty wasteful yeah. to them. Right? Yeah, I, I'm kind of an I don't on flowers at weddings in general. It's a good point, Eric. Of course. Um, of course. What? Because it le- would take it. It takes attention away from you and whatever story your your work your story you're weaving. Yeah. The only cool, flower I want at the wedding cool are those beautiful yourself. women all dolled up in makeup and beautiful, elegant, feminine, feminine dresses. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today. Uh, you're, how, you're, you're a monster. Is that is that it? Oh, uh, I just want to ask your overall opinion on a monsoon wedding. I do, I don't. Um, it seems to me that monsoon weddings are... 
regionalized to monsoon climates. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah. In, in, in India. Uh huh. Um, so me, you know, usually I know about everything about to do with weddings from, you know, start to finish with monsoon weddings. I don't, I wouldn't know where to begin other than God bless you for believing in love and each other so much that you have a wedding during a monsoon. So that's an I do to a monsoon wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, um, yeah, I'm going to say I do, too, just because I like people getting wet and staying wet. That's I do's, I don'ts. Play our music again. All right, that was I do's, I don'ts. Eric, we got to take a break because we have J.C. Coley coming up. Oh, I'm excited for this. Uh, oh, I can't wait. Let's take a break right she, now she's, and then come back. She's right great. After We're going to take a break. Uh, she, you know her from Chelsea lately, Last Comic mm. Standing, uh, yeah. all sorts of stuff. She works with Equality now. Gloria Steinem, ever heard of it? Just like my yeah. wife. They work together sometimes. Uh, all, she, around, all around hustler about town. Mm-hmm. She'll be right back Casey after Coakley. this break. Thanks for listening. I'll miss you. I'm not quite sure of a uh, Italian coming of age American film female. I don't really know. Mm. It's you, babe. It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's that's you. you. That's your. That's Is that your, my niche? That's your, that's your yeah, eighth grade. Yeah. Your Bo Burnham's eighth grade. Oh Is like you're, God! You're like a fucking. Should I do, do a, Should I do a seventh seventh grade but held back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> works at a diner, like works at a, like works at your parents' like Italian restaurant, and they're gonna be like JC made up. Oh her no, name you're a super, or you're like a super. You're like this a super like, intendant. No, oh. like a yeah, a of a super of like an apartment building, and you're like oh. a, like a handy woman savant. Like I, when you were like eight, you were like plumbing, <laughs> like fixing fucking toilets. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch it. Be, oh, it I can't even believe you just said that I was a handyman savant because yeah, I'm handy. really getting into being a handy person right now. There you yeah. go. That's what I'm talking about. How I so? know. Well, I knew we, it. well, my family has a uh, a boat on the marina, a catamaran. Oh, a cat. A cat. Yeah. And uh, when I say my family, I'm not saying blood family. I'm saying 13 years in Los Angeles. Your spiritual. Right. They Ohio had a baby. Type family. Yeah. I'm the godparent. Great. Oh, hi, vibe. Now, a boat, that's that's a constant upkeep. Well, when, oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's a consistent, it's much like an a, RV. An RV. I mean, yeah. it's with yeah. you for life. Yeah. And it's going to go, it's going to go places with you, but it's going to take on some hits. Mm. Yeah. Um, but because it's always getting wet. <laughs> there's always, <laughs> there's always stuff going wrong in the water. So, yeah. Why I why I bring this up to you is I am embracing boat life a yeah. lot more now, mm-hmm. um, as one does in the marina. As one yeah. really pretty much has to do. Yeah, you know you don't yeah. really have a choice. And and uh, I go on the boat a lot. I it's instead of Starbucks being my office, I go on the catamaran. That's great. I get Wi Fi. You get Wi Fi. Yeah, oh. your cat has Wi Fi. The cat. Well, the the plan, marina has the wifi. planet has Wi Fi. The planet. Uh, well, s- well. California has Wi-Fi, and then if you're on the phone, <laughs> what? <laughs> if you're on the phone. I think, what? Well, there's like hella tech companies like moving into like the oh, Wi-Fi yeah. is just the my marina, phone, right? Silicon yeah. Beach. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's at Silicon Beach. You ever heard that? No, I haven't. Um, you haven't? No, I've heard Playa Vista. Well, that was my other. The, yeah, yeah. That's just the town. Yeah, is techie. Yeah, is the sentence I've heard. Really? Oh, because Snapchat's oh, yeah. there. Yeah, I think they left. In YouTube, um, right? I think we kicked him out. There was a bunch over Snapchat there. Snapchat left. Snapchat left. After I think, 10, yeah, well, I think we protested, or... got him out or something. Oh, that's good. Well, yeah. I, there's still tons over there. Oh. And you have all the bird scooters over there. Although, oh. Google. Although all of them are on the east side now. You would love these bird scooters. Do you know what they are? Oh, no, but I've been seeing them on Twitter. Okay. And I have no idea what they are, but I like, I mean, I get it. I understand I you get it, but you would, uh, you would appreciate them um, because eventually someone's going to die. Yeah. yeah. Um, I saw a kid ollie off an oak tree. Mm. Ollie off an what? oak tree. He ollied off an oak tree. That sounds like something you yell when you're when you're done counting <laughs> like down. Ollie, ollie oxen tree. <laughs> <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. 
<laughs> letters are a son of a bitch. Um, the letter O doesn't get used nearly enough. Uh, but I, I I like them. I think that they're great because they get everybody out and about and you can run yeah. errands and zip through traffic because there's an area on the west side that's mm-hmm. Lincoln and Washington and it's Uh-oh. right before the oh, beach. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like, if you're I, in your car, you're not moving. I have a headache yeah. just thinking about it's it. It's a real nightmare. There's a train yeah. station and there's a train stop there now too, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it's an above... Look, I can talk Metro all day long. Yeah. Um, I, I, think I love Metro stuff. Me too. When you're advancing people from one side of town to another in mm-hmm. a uniformed, comfortable manner yeah i appreciate yeah. that because uh driving is awful yeah it yeah. is not that fun unless you're elon musk e- oh you know i bet oh, you driving is pretty nice well there. he's underground and driving right yes he has, he has his own tunnel to drive on well that's what we're gonna end up getting i think we're gonna get this tunnel i think they're gonna give it to us us poor people the they're gonna give they're gonna put us underground they're gonna put us underground <laughs> oh, so we no. can transfer like you're back so close to the water you you just i feel like you should just Strike out on sea. You too, Dan. Yeah. Strike out on sea. Yeah. That's what I would do if well, I was if I had a catamaran, I'd be why don't you yeah. commute by cat? Uh where am I gonna get to? Where do you think? I don't know. Ventura, then you Ventura. can pop up to Ohio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knock out the show, Wait. come on back. <laughs> yeah. They know I'm loyal. If the winds are good, you know, you'll be there. Well, what you also need to understand is I'm the first mate. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which means you're not the captain. Plot thickens. So <laughs> It is it is important for me to learn uh, oceanic. I'm already talking about the ocean, Brent. I got it into this conversation. <laughs> this will lead to my podcast called The Ocean and Me. Oh, is this the podcast you're <laughs> yeah. pitching to producer Brett well, yeah. because I was late because of traffic? <laughs> because there's not enough transportation to yeah. get you. Because you to didn't the- take your boat. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you can. There's not. Yeah. You could take your boat on the L.A. River. Uh huh. Hit a couple of ducks and some radioactive whales. Whatever's in there. I don't think. The whales are there. Well, don't think. Just do. Okay. That's a good model. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you're first mate on the catamaran. That means you don't know how to sail, basically, means, right? Uh, basically, yeah. I mean, I can uh, help you park and get the boat out. <laughs> uh, I can help you. You can tie it off on dock. I can tie it off on dock. I yeah. can set the sails. Okay. Uh, that's real shit. That's like easier said than done shit. Yeah. yeah. And a it's, lot of stuff. And you got, you know, it's a balance thing and it's reading the wind. Uh, I got a lot of hot videos out right now of me driving boats. Oh, um, great. Yeah. Do you know how to tie your knots? Do you get the sheep shank? You know the... what's uh, interesting? I haven't learned uh, all of them yet, but I've learned the one that I needed to. Um, it's, which is where you tie it to the dock. Yeah. Where yeah. you just tie it to the dock and then come back and tie it right. What's that knot called? Uh, it's called a, oh, shit. Oh. Tie this knot quick knot. <laughs> it's not a square knot or something like that. I uh I can Google. You don't need to. I should. You ready for this you ready for the segue? Uh only S- if it's spoken like it. that. Speaking it. of Do tying it. the knot. <laughs> Hello! Oh, oh! That's, that's one of the greatest segues I've ever Thank you. heard. Holly off the oak tree. <laughs> Damn. Holly Speak- off a of oak tree. That oh. was a sick segue. We'll be back with more grooms <laughs> and JC Oakley's in the house. We're not taking a we're not taking a break. Oh. No, we, we don't take breaks. We have no sponsors. Oh. <laughs> no. This is where I can tell you who are the hot sponsors right now. Yeah. Still House Whiskey, Simple Vodka. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we can't name any of these, right? That we probably won't be able to use them. Well, we'll bleep them out and then we'll Apple. negotiate the. <laughs> The back channels Good will idea. get those going. Headspace. Mm-hmm. Nothing says wedding more than meditation. Okay. Yeah, we should reach Speaking out to these of people. Back channels. <laughs> yep. All right. I know. I know. Hey, what are you doing there? Getting you. You. What is that? Never that mind. is. Well, it's legalized cannabis. Oh, cool. Hell yeah, Eric. You want? Oh, Eric, you want to get high? <laughs> um. You, it's I'm sure, you, I'm sure you've been part of weddings. You've been in weddings uh, before, I, I assume. I you have, have that energy. It's interesting that you say that. Yeah, I have that energy. I have been very selective. Oh, so you've been approached and you've declined. I have been approached, uh, and for the most of my twenties, I didn't realize how important weddings were. Oh. Yeah. So I would say no. Uh-huh. Uh, because yeah. I would be in LA working or hus- I never really constant- hustling. hustling. Yeah. And yeah. then as I got a little older, uh, I started to appreciate like a fancy or what, like a nice wedding. Mm-hmm. But I yeah. didn't go to a lot of them growing up as a kid, even though I was Catholic. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have a memory of them. 
When you declined, did you just the invitation like you didn't attend or you were asked to be part of the wedding? Well, okay. So I think my first ever wedding, uh, it was a child wedding where someone was married off uh, in Africa. No, I'm kidding. Wow. But that happens. Wow. And if we don't step yeah. up <laughs> and wow. change that. Yeah. Hands made still. Yeah. Um, but that's a serious plug at qualitynow.org. Um, now. That's one of our. Hand, handmade actually, sales, one of our. Handmade sponsors, sales, yeah. one of your. And equality now. Yeah. And equality now. Yeah. See, we can get. Yeah. Lots of product. Mm -hmm. um, Glory's coming in next week. Can't wait. So I, I didn't really think too much on weddings. Uh, growing up, I n knew it was a thing, but it wasn't something I cared about. <laughs> you had heard of weddings I heard up? of them. I saw movies, but yeah. I, my family didn't go to a lot of them. Okay. Um, you know, Pittsburgh, heavy yeah. divorce town. Is that right? <laughs> really? <laughs> I made up the stat, but I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Blue collar. Uh. Home. So I left. I, I went to college at 17. I, I Someone would have to remind me if I went to something before 17. I mm -hmm. don't think I did. Okay. And then college, I knew it was beginning to happen. But again, really like very much focused on uh, career and yeah. life. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah. that perspective. Which is a 20s thing. That's what you do in your 20s. So I, 20. I feel like it's a pretty common thing. Or maybe a common... The podcast. Yeah, or comic thing yeah. maybe too. I just was like, I was like, I'm not getting married until I'm famous. Yeah. yeah. So I won't go to anything that even resembles So I won't even love. attend a wedding. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> and I also didn't... I just, Again, I didn't understand how powerful one could be. Like yeah. a wedding. Yeah, a wedding, um, yeah. Oh, God. I didn't really think about the fun part. Like, I have fun all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you live on a boat. A, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah. I live in the water with, yeah. like, another whale. Sure. You but, know? But yeah. there's no, it's not serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not you serious. Never, you never to, needed weddings. Yeah. You never needed weddings to, to let loose, cut loose, hit the dance floor. Your life was a dance floor. I get it. I love you that. You know that about me. My <laughs> yeah. life is a walking dance floor. You know, yeah. and yeah. I, yeah. Uh, so I didn't, but I wasn't anti it. I yeah. never went on stage and was like, my married friends, I didn't care. I, yeah. I, I genuinely yeah. just don't care. Yeah. I understand yeah. that you're taken. Yeah. And I get that. I'm taken. You're taken. Eric is taken. Yeah. I'm, that you're both yeah. taken. Yeah. And that's oh, yeah. really the information I need. <laughs> so yeah. that's where it stops for you. Yeah. It stops. Okay. Like I got yeah. that and I'll be there for you in whatever way I can. Yeah. Uh, if you become Liam Neeson untaken, oh. we can talk. Oh, dear. That's sad. No, no, no. Not <laughs> Nat kidnapped. Not kidnapped. Natasha? Not kidnapped. Not kidnapped. <laughs> Natasha. No. Are you talking about Natasha Richardson? Isn't that it was, oh, Liam? Oh, Miranda Richardson and why? Miranda Richardson? What, what am I talking about? Miranda His July. Wife that died? His wife that died. Oh, she got, she was skiing. Yeah. Was it Natasha Richardson or oh, Natasha Legero? I think it was Moshe Cash. Moshe. It was Moshe Cash. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Thank you. We'll be right back. Guy Branham has, Guy Branham has a book out. Guy Branham has a book Guy out? Guy Branham has a book out. Oh, everybody has a book out. Should I write See, a book backwards? Are, yeah, a, did, a backwards book? What about book? Natalie? Have you watched what was anything that? on Natalie Wood? What about Natalie Wood? Oh, on the book? oh, yes. I think about Natalie Wood every day. Oh, she was murdered. So, do, so the fuck do I. Yeah. By the way, I think about her every day and her uh, sibling just had a quote. Um, yeah, she's like Robert Wagner totally murdered her. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Robert Wagner he, totally yeah. murdered her, took her Let's out on a boat. Like, and as yeah. a first mate, I can assure <laughs> you mm -hmm. murder can happen easily. Of course. International off the waters. Shore. International waters. Oh, yeah. Things oh, done. God, yeah. Wasn't she like yeah. deathly afraid of the water too? Um, like yes. swimming? I wasn't. Yeah, yes. I wasn't a strong swimmer. Yeah. No. And then came back to shore. Who was on the boat? Bono? Christopher Walken. Okay, same Walken. thing. <laughs> Bono <laughs> might have been there I too. Would, I have, you know how many sets I've derailed talking about this? Because one, I'm obsessed yeah. with it just because of the justice part sure. of it. Because Robert Wagner was like, didn't really cooperate with LAPD no. when it yeah. happened. They just, they reopened the case a couple of years ago because they found all these body yes. uh, bruises on her body. Yeah. And he refused to cooperate with LAPD then. I've just I've just derailed so many sets because I just like start because I'm obsessed with it and I well, talk about you, it and I was like this dude was in three Austin Powers movies yeah. and he's a cold blooded murderer yeah like the devil 
Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. 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 Um, I think a lot about uh, people in movies that we watch that has that have killed a person. Mm. I wonder. Yeah. If you think it's more than we think, I think it's more than we think. <laughs> I just or, do. And there's, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just when you go, I just going a little bit broader. I think like yeah. that's a great Hannibal Burris moment. I'll call it where we talk about something in an obsessive way, in a mm-hmm. not an obsessive way, but we say it, and then people obsessively go after the information about it. Right. That's yeah. more what it is. And then yeah. they begin yeah. to op- reopen I've a case. I've been talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I you, think it was sooner than a, a couple years ago. I think it was like a few months ago they reopened it. Yeah. And then it was quickly no. dismissed. Well, they reopened it. They reopened it like in 2000. Let's see, I was still living in MacArthur Park. Mm. So it must have been like oh, 2012 boy. or something. Inland from Marina. It was uh-huh. like 2012. A little bit. Yeah. Not the Marina. Not the this Marina. the Marina of the East Side. MacArthur Park. <laughs> Um, that's probably where Natalie Woody's Natalie Woody's Natalie's <laughs> body is. Probably is in MacArthur Park in the lake. If well, they, they were, found her body, that's not, right? That's not nice. Did no, they? They, yeah, they know her body. I think they found her body. Yeah, it floated in. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I mean, how many murders do you think Christopher Walken has has witnessed? I that's alone, what, not even just like how many. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Growing up Italian in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I don't even know if my family killed people. I think they might have. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, th- there's a possibility. They, they they don't know how to work a podcast, so they won't ever hear this. Right. But the moment they do. A possibility. You're saying it's it's not. Hit on my body. It, they're going to put a hit on your body? <laughs> they put a hit on my body. <laughs> that yeah, could be at a some, wedding. Hit on my body at a wedding. Ooh. Yeah. But I wanted That's to. That's why you kill someone is at a wedding. <laughs> I mean, if you're an Italian, yeah, that's the place to do it. Yeah. Everyone's just eating. On this, the day of my daughter's wedding? Yeah. Yes, this is the yeah. day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an Irish mob. He will, yeah. <laughs> a little wedding manja, a little wedding manja. I have, a, you know, I have a wedding coming manja. up in September, and I'd like to say that I went to a wedding last year in Newfoundland, oh, Canada. Mm, that's different. My Canada. best friend Sarah Power's wedding was a four-day. Uh, this is how I know I'm... Uh, an adult weddings before I didn't care about now I trust my friends enough to have quality experiences Mm -hmm. you know I'm not barreling them out I'm not saying I don't get asked to a lot of them okay either Mm -hmm. we have friends that I think a lot of my friends got married right when my sister passed oh okay and actually not I think there were three uh-huh. And so yeah, I just no. know that in that time I couldn't f- mentally be there or no physically way. have been there. And that's the prime, I think, ripe yeah. age of when yeah. friends started to get engaged. Like yep. you as well, too. It came back and it was like, everyone's engaged. Yeah. And now I have the uh, the mindset to like be there and be present at it and enjoy it. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. I never was like a get drunk person anyway. Uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. But now I know how to do it as an adult. Right. Yeah. And I had a great time. So Newfoundland, you went whale watching. On a boat. Okay. What time of year is this? This was July. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. Uh, we we all stayed in an Airbnb um, on the water in Newfoundland, and it's just like- Hell yeah. So like, every, cool. What do you mean we all? Like everyone who was at the wedding? <clears throat> so the LA friends uh, flew out to the Newfoundland wedding to okay. meet the bride and the groom and the family, and it was like, they're very much like, everything was at the houses and yeah. a four-day adventure, so everybody got to know each other. Yeah. And then you got, um, I'm going to mess it up. I don't know the name of it, but you get like um, like sanctioned into Newfoundland. You become a Newfie with this ritual and it's this like what? man. No what? way. That's awesome. In a raincoat and like rain boots. And I'm not going to do the accent well, but it's like, down in Newfoundland, you're, if you're not a Newfie, yeah. if you're not to this or that to the other. And it's almost yeah. Irish. Yeah. Wait, where is yeah. Newfoundland? I'm, my geography is failing me. Sure. Uh, uh, West Coast is us. Yeah. And then uh, East Coast here. It's like above, above Montreal, Toronto, all the way up. Yeah, to the very right, Newfoundland. Like so, it's like up in all those like small little island chain things. Yeah, and it was. Uh, I, I I always ask my Canadian friends the background of Newfoundland, but it it uh, almost tried to separate from yeah. Canada, mm. um, yeah. or or tried and failed, or or is still working on it. But they're um, they're just a very beautifully peaceful breed, but also the the yeah. dogs the. There's oh. a hell of big dogs. Am I wrong? Yeah. 
Newfoundland? Scottish. A lot of like sheep yes. in Scot like a Scottish <clears throat> vibe. There's a lot of Scots yeah, up there. Yeah, I mean it sounds am I made that up? I'm no, sure. you didn't. Yeah. I'm sure I'm, the Vikings made it over. I think Leif Erickson made it over there. That's what I did he not? Yes, because there was again my geography is getting better, but my history of like how people traveled mm -hmm. from ha and colonized, mm -hmm. either there was a land of what there was water there, or there was an easier accessible way that people came from like Denmark, Sweden, Norway. Yeah. Oh, there used to be a land bridge. I don't know if it was. Yeah. yeah something like that. It, it, and obviously. Yeah. And Al Gore can tell you the, you know, water, uh -huh. water is a coming. Yeah. Water is a what? Water is a coming. Water is and a the what? Mohicans um, a and the Mohicans were like, "Fuck off! We got it. We have water. <laughs> yeah. Stop drinking our water." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, talk to a Newfoundlander about seals; they'll go all day. Uh, yeah. Good or bad? Are they a fan of the seal? They love the seal. They have to respect the seal, but they do use the seal meat and the seal this, the and seal every that, part of the every seal. part of the seal out of respect because yeah. it's yeah. like that part of town. And uh, they're <laughs> the one. I can't do a, a, a impression, so I'll just say like, my friend's mom was like. It's better if I do the impression. Yeah. So just, I'm not going to tell you the story. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we, we talk so much shit about <laughs> destination weddings on this podcast, but when they are done right and it sounds yeah. like this new thing, like, when they're down right and they're thoughtful and they um, usually probably usually cost a lot of money, probably. No, I mean, the. Uh, no, it, really? I mean, it was, it was for the flight, uh, whatever the flight was for me. And then. Mm -hmm. Yeah the Airbnb for all of us to be like, be together and cook together in the house for five days. Like oh, all of our friends. Yeah. 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 And it, the environment, it's like, it, it didn't cost a ton, but mm -hmm. it was so worth it. I mean, I cried twice. I remember that. Uh huh. Um, so everybody so that was, was like impactful. in the wedding party was staying in the Airbnb with you? No, uh, okay. I wasn't even in the wedding party. I've never been a bridesmaid. Oh. You'd never been a bridesmaid? No. Wow. That shocks wow. me. <laughs> that fucking shocks me. <laughs> I'm with Eric. I don't get shocked on this podcast a lot, but now I'm fucking... Are you kidding me? I've never been a bridesmaid. Yeah. You, nev you J.C. Coakley. J.C. Coakley. <laughs> I've, I've never been a bridesmaid. Been a bridesmaid. <gasps> Wait. Here it is. Oh my God! Did you? Were you? Wait, wait, I think I've been a bridesmaid. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> On my best friend's at my best friend's wedding. Your ex best friend <laughs> forgot you were a bridesmaid. Yeah, I for, okay. That's your, that's your third movie, by the way. Right. That's your third Jason <laughs> Copley. So I must have only been a bridesmaid once. And and that goes to say that uh, I, I'm sure I was asked before, but again, didn't care about weddings. But this one happened five years ago. So this was my first time going to a wedding. And I remember I drank a lot. I was like, uh, I was the MC of the wedding. It was down oh, in- uh, Oh, wow. Uh, down, you take the train on the San Diego coast. It was one of my friends from, yeah. I, her daughter is my godchild now. Uh -huh. um, you take the train down to like- Carlsbad, but a little oh, more the, yeah. the country, and they have yeah. property there, and they had um, airstreams. Oh, nice! It's an, she married an artist, so we basically came in and, and set it all up, uh -huh. streamed the lights and everything, and everybody camped for two days or three days. Very cool. That sounds gorgeous. That's a gorgeous part of California, right? A gorgeous part, yep. and uh, and we had some mushrooms there, and I was the master of ceremonies. Uh -huh. We had um, oh, wow. Mesa and uh, Rosa Pullman, Bill Pullman's uh, daughter and niece, perform. Hello. Wow! And they're like this folky, like. Um, Janis Joplin feel uh -huh. pretty cool. And then everybody was, just what wait, was Bill Pullman there? Like Oh God, I wish. Know? I've I've hung out with him three times and each time I'm no like shit. President Whitmore? Yes. Wow. He is He's so dream articulate. Boat. Dreamboat. Oh, His God. wife is unbelievable. The house they live in is up. They're just a creative family. Mm -hmm. They're they've Not been bad. performing a lot in Norway, the Pullmans. So I try to have them open for me, like the Ojai show. Uh-huh. I wanted them to open the show. Yeah. Um, but they're going to be in Norway performing. Oh, sure. Ugh. At the festival at Roskilde? No, they get their own gigs. <laughs> this is what I'm doing on the road a lot in Denmark and Norway. Like I'm going and I'm on Instagram, like I want to bring my show to you. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> because I can kind of curate something based on it and yeah. just using my friend's contact. I mean, I'm like hustling like I'm in the like music biz. Yeah. Well, you're kind of an influencer on the, on the gram. I mean, I don't know. Who am I influencing? Um, style people? I don't know. I style thought you had a pretty uh, loyal following. I do have a loyal following. Yeah. Um, and that's how you can set up those shows, right? Yeah. I, I definitely can utilize my uh, social media presence mm -hmm. to yeah. um, 
be the the thing that kind of gets me over the bridge to the yeah. next place. And <clears throat> yeah. you know, visual visual resumes have become the way I get work on my own. Yeah. When I present the idea of the the show I want to do or the way I want to do it through visuals on my Instagram, like something yeah. I did at Art Basel mix with something, I can kind of set them up a focus of what I think it's going to be. Um, uh -huh. And you'd be surprised by just asking how how much people do want to bring something like that. Yeah. You know, oh, and yeah. and, so. and I love that process because it's it's raw mm -hmm. and it's like not, and I'm learning a lot about it. You know, producing shows with Wendy too, like yeah. what she does for those that gala and beyond, yeah. there's something so crisp and clean about it. It's it's organized, it's it's cutthroat a bit. Yeah. Um and I cut your nose off. They'll cut your red nose off. They're cut your red nose <laughs> off. <clears throat> and of course, that's the the dream. But until those yeah. dreams kind of go the way I the way I envision it, like I would like to do like a yoga festival. You know what I mean? Like a yoga festival? Yeah. If they like instead of the Billboard Music Awards, they just had a yoga festival awards. That would be my kind of award show. Okay. You know, not yeah. as commercial. Right. Not heavy hitter on the sponsor depot, but right. Mm, but those sponsors help you set up the whole thing. Brought to you by peace namaste i mean <laughs> yoga i feel like yoga and stand-up are so yoga and stand-up are are have a kind of uh symbiosity is that a word yep they're like they're kind of the same they're kind of the same because like you don't need you don't need anything to do yoga all you need is a mat and you're breathing yeah and, right and stand-up is kind of the same way you yeah you need more stuff to do stand you need a microphone that's it you need a microphone and a stand and a stool yeah 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 and and when they provide i mean i've gotten much better about getting money for everybody too like mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> learning that's how i learn like if i was such an influencer how do i use this to get the scale up to what i want like mm -hmm producing these shows have become really fun because I can jump in and out of producing television, um, theater, and then coming back to just typical old stand-up. And then I think it all could come down one day to me opening a comedy club in a, in a different way, a possible different tone. That's why I like yeah. it. Oh God, that would be amazing. Wouldn't that be cool? And, yeah. and <clears throat> knowing, knowing it from that point of view of just such the care that it goes in, that's why I love dynasty typewriter. It's like, yeah, what yeah. they did is, take the experience and really make it work for them and, and set it up in yeah. a way. And, and even though that part of town is not necessarily the Marina. Right. Um, Can I ask you a question? Of course. I, I'm a new suggestion. What if you take a, you did all this on a boat from the Marina Whoa. and you did, it's like a cruise from the Marina to like Ventura. I, and then you do all this shit on the fucking boat. Because Natalie would. Mm, yeah. yeah. The last thing I need it's true. is a murder oh, that's a good on one. Yeah. me boat. Yeah. Cruises and performing yeah. on cruises have never sounded no. like they were fun. No. I think no. about it a lot because my uh, cousin, who's a, a drummer in the Navy, stationed in Hawaii, Honolulu. Okay. Right now. Hello. Really cool. Uh, we went and visited them, them as a family and watching them perform the Navy perform is just like, so epic. Yeah. Um, and they met while, you know, 10 years before on a cruise. He was drumming uh -huh. and she was a dancer. This is so that's cute. It's cute. It's beyond their son. My uh, cousin Charlie is just so bright. And then they're having another baby in Hawaii. And they're just like the perfect Navy, amazing couple that is just met on a boat. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. You could do that to people. You could do that for people. Sure, there's going to be a for, lot of for every. When you got all those per performers <laughs> there. You're going to have. You know, you said you want to do theater and music, and that's a lot of performers who might fall off the boat and die. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. I'm not bringing yeah. Kyle Kinane. Mm. I know on the boat. Yeah. Yeah, but like you I'd know, like to. He'd fall off the boat. He'd fall off the boat. Yeah. No, he'd fall off the boat for the bit. He would never. He'd fall off he would the fall boat for the bit. <laughs> he would fall off the boat for the bit, and then it'd be like an overboard situation, like in Goldie Hawn. He'd wash up. Yeah, he'd wash up in Marina Del Rey, and he'll forget that he was from Chicago, and he'll just be like a house husband in Marina Del Rey. <laughs> I, I do kind of secretly dream I of want being a housewife. Too. In yeah, Marina Del Rey. Oh, oh well, yeah, oh. that's where you want to be, the housewife. I want to be <laughs> any, any beach city. A housewife in Marina Del Rey, and I like sometimes go up to maybe like Montecito and try to recreate 
scenes from mm. Big Little Lies. Mm -hmm. Not Montecito. Monterey? Monterey. Yeah. Montecito is, is not. Is not. In <laughs> mudslide. That's Mudslide Town, baby. Yeah. That's Mudslide County. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to. I love that you Fires. still know that it's Mudslide. You know, we're burning up over here. I know. I know. I've been watching. I mean, like, you know, I like to stay abreast of all the natural disasters in California. Keeps huh. me grounded. I love it. Keeps that. me, it, you know, it's just my home. I miss home. I look at all the, what, what natural disasters strike in California now? <laughs> um, well, because a bunch of, a Dodger, Jock Peterson, Dodgers left field, outfielder, got married in Montecito wedding. Uh, Mud hit everybody? Is that weekend when the, everything was on fire and there was mudslides. Hmm. I get so excited. Jock wow. Tower. When you were the MC of this wedding in yeah. <laughs> San Diego area, did that involve a speech? On mushrooms? Oh, yeah. That was my second question. Was everyone on mushrooms at the wedding? Um, I know I was. Okay. Uh, I can't keep track of a lot of people. My therapist says I need to just focus on myself. Okay. I like that. Um, yeah. Thank you. So you're an MC while... So, on mushrooms. so they have a, uh, I didn't do the uh, wedding part where the people have the vowels and. Right. Yeah, that's an officiant. You weren't officiating. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. No. I didn't get. You were like saying, here comes the bride or welcome everybody. Yeah, yeah. I was a bridesmaid. I, now the picture has come back to me. I had a green dress on. It was Nicole Miller and uh, the, we all had feathers Nicole. in our hair. Uh huh. Mm. So it was a feather in the hair wedding. We, f we drove in on a Cadillac to present the bride. Uh, a 58 cattle. Oh, no, 58 Ooh. Lincoln. 58 oh, Lincoln. Cool. Continental? Uh, Lincoln Continental uh, Baby Suicide Blue. Suicide doors, yeah. Um, it was actually Wait, in that. Car peacock feathers or no? What kind of yeah, feathers? Yeah, peacock feathers. Everybody Thank just, ha, that was the it's theme. Wear anything yeah. you want, yeah. but yeah. pick a, let's just all have this peacock feather in our hair. Okay. Because yeah. you said green dress and that's the first thing. Yeah, and then a Lincoln. That's gorgeous so far. It was Oof. really lovely. Um, yeah. And I, I didn't take care of the serious part it was the no. during the dinner and then to present. Yeah. So I technically did I greeted everybody, did mm -hmm. a little bit of a roast almost, yeah. Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, which was great, which went over really well. And then um, I hosted the show, which had fire throwers, um, belly dancers, Whoa. and then the Pullmans. <laughs> so it was yeah. a full This sounds affair. like something you would have produced also. I mean, I think that <laughs> I have a niche for go yeah. looking back at my life and being like, this is yeah. where I first was like, this is cool. Yeah. Uh, That's what I'm saying. If you do it on a boat, then maybe people, you do that. You put all that out there for people. So I guarantee you some couple that just met, they're going to be like, let's get married. Yeah. Let's just fucking do it. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, let me just conquer California yeah, okay. on ground. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see how this Ojai thing goes. We could come mm -hmm. back in a month, check in. Yeah, uh, we could see how my coast, my California coastings going. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. take to the the biggest ocean on the planet yet. <laughs> yeah, want to conquer no. that? Not just yet, but I would. I mean, small goals. I mean, I would definitely do. I would create a pirate ship. Yeah, a moving mm. pirate ship and do see? comedy on a pirate ship. Yeah, yeah. That maybe start on a pond. A pond. <laughs> No, I haven't seen a pond in ages or a lake. Maybe you're a lake. Maybe you're not you can... going on a lake. All those people died on a duck boat. Oh my Maybe God. go across See? the pond. Go all the way. Okay, I can do, do a... like a do like a reverse Titanic ghost ship type sitch. Queen Mary, Queen Mary. Too you... far, Long Beach. Too far. Too far. Elon yeah. Musk can make a tunnel. I'll go. <laughs> what? Otherwise, not going south. All right. Not going south. Uh, that's J C Kiko. <laughs> I ain't going south. <laughs> so your speech, so you did a light roast because we emceed each other, me and Dan emceed each other's weddings. I, so, I mean, and I've emceed other weddings and it's a tough, it's a tough room. It's, it's, tough it, gig. it's interesting. I was, uh, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. I think it's not necessarily something I would continuously do for that one. Yeah. It felt safe, safe. I think that could yeah. be my last one. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I also spoke up at the, I also did a little stand up uh, because they couldn't figure something out for the Newfoundland wedding. Oh, okay. Uh, so you came so to the yeah. rescue there, so got came, on the mic. Yeah, I came to the rescue, but it was like three tight minutes, three tight, and okay. then That's laughter, a little bit of roasting based on knowing, yeah, you, you know everybody for four days. You get yeah. to really know everybody. We had, right. a, yeah. uh, we had a woman, we called her hates her kids, Liz, and she would just get, <laughs> 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 she would get just so lit and just forget about her kids. Her kids would walk into stuff and she'd just be like, Whoa. we're like, hates your kids, Liz. <laughs> So that made it fun. Yeah. Uh, and that's my second wedding. And then I have, uh, you know, Laura Valdivia? 
Do you remember Laura no, Valdivia? No, sounds familiar. <clears throat> she was, uh, I think she came up around the time. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you came a little bit later, but she ran some really cool shows way back in the day, like Josh Adam Myers days when I used to start with him mm-hmm. and Gerard just first moved here as well. And it was like people just hanging oh, around yeah, that's way before the unknown movie. theater, I think it was. I'm not sure if I remember it. Uh-huh. She ran it with Sarah Tiana um, at the time. So, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. She's getting married. Yeah. This is the next wedding you're going to Getting married. Go? Yeah. September something, and it's in Santa Monica. So it's my first California wedding. Oh, home, home, home court advantage. Home court advantage. Yeah. You're going to bring the boat? <clears throat> I'm going to take the boat in. Uh, yeah. It's right is at the beer. Is that your plus one? My, <laughs> you know what? I, I faked a plus one. What does that mean? Uh, I made up a name, and uh-huh. I, I was hoping to maybe find someone on Bumble named the same For thing. For this wedding? For the wedding. For this so wedding that we... That you were about to go to? So Just to see. Because I don't know. I, I don't yeah. ever, ever, in fact, need a date. No. No. No one ever said you did. I am no. more than capable mm-hmm. of having the time of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't need them for weddings. In fact, I want to I wanna be able to talk to the uncles, to the widows, to mm-hmm. people that there are just, you, you know, I just, this is, I want to get a great attitude. Nobody needs a fucking date to a wedding. You're literally sitting at a table with a bunch of fucking people. So yeah. many people that you could get to know. And again, goes back to trusting my friends. Yeah. I trust that the people they have at this wedding are worth getting to know in that time. Bless right. You, you know, you. Yeah. and enjoying mm-hmm. them and learning about uncle Dan and hates your kids, Liz. And yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> Getting an Why idea. Why does she hate her kids? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, her kids kind of do suck, actually. <laughs> <laughs> kids are pretty great. Um, so I, I, that one is going to be uh, interesting because I've known this person for, uh, I think, a long a time, long about time. 10 yeah. years in L.A. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I'm curious. It's a definitely going to be an adult wedding. Right. Yeah. But open-ended as far as the date goes, you can go solo, but if you find somebody, you have that chicken dinner reserved for them? No, no, no. I'm solo uh, to a T. I already yeah. I paired up with my other buddy who's also solo. We, oh. We're laughably, mm-hmm. we love it. Mm-hmm. We're laughably solo, so we'll sit next yeah. to each other and have the time of our lives. What happened to the That's fake the name? Fourth. That's the fourth that you... movie. Uh, they just uh, laughed and wrote my name down. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they knew you were joking. <laughs> they, I wasn't joking, um, but... Wait, it's, what was the name? Can I'm concerned for a number from their it? perspective. Like, so when they're adding up their numbers for people coming to the, their wedding, it was something basic like Stephen David. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm just yeah. curious if Stephen David has a chicken dinner <laughs> waiting for him. That they're going to be like, why did we? She said they were bringing Stephen, and now the numbers are off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 200 person wedding oh then they don't care they don't care That's if Stephen David exists or yeah. not yeah uh, I got yeah. pretty close I was hanging out with a guy named Justin mm. um, okay. so I found a way to be like maybe I can convince them that it's lose the J-U and it's just he goes by Stin and Stephen looks the same Stin yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah this is my this is my friend Stin. <laughs> Did you mean Stephen? No. no, 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 no. Stin. <laughs> Just. Just in. Uh, so that will be interesting. And then uh, I think I'm then I'm think I'm good. I think one a year is fine. It's a good pace. I think yeah. it's a solid yeah. pace. Yeah. Um, yeah. And again, I you know I've never been invited to a comedy wedding. Um, mm-hmm. That's actually something I've never told They're anybody. A They're a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Wait, are they? Fucking nightmare. They? Yeah, my mine sucked. Dan sucked. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, every comedy <laughs> wedding. Sucks. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, okay. Because uh, and I don't think it's a testament to like me not having comedy friends. It's yeah. a testament to where I either was or what. It's the same as my like other friends. Yeah, I just yeah. said. I didn't make yeah. myself available across the board. Yeah. Like right. to be included in a like a group of tight knit friends until yeah. like my mid thirties. Yeah. Right. You know? So yeah. now I'm I'm seeing the weddings happen of our friends and I feel no FOMO. In fact, yeah. I love it. I love that I love that I can see it through Facebook. Yeah. I love that I can see it through Instagram. Yeah. I love that I can kind of be there visually and just see yeah. it happen and not mm-hmm. feel the pressure of Yeah. The, like I'm trying to t- Take care of my family, right? Marriage wise, and you're genuinely happy for them. Like I love that too. Wouldn't like, yeah, I love when like people that I see getting married. I'm like, oh man, I'm not there. I don't get. Yeah, that's a great feeling. It is when you don't really care about being because usually every single wedding that 
happens that I'm not at, I get a little upset. Oh, really? You oh, think yeah, about for not it. being invited. Oh, yeah. I should have been invited to way more weddings than I have been in my life. That You know what, though? Guess what? When I get married, I'm yeah. going to remember that. Yeah. Yeah, please do. And then please, please do. Please you're going to get a weird yeah. invitation for my comedy <laughs> <No>. boat wedding. <laughs> oh, my God. She did it. She That's finally what it's going to be it. now. And one person it. will die. It might be she Eric. She finally did it. <laughs> also, also, can we talk about, there have been so many good ideas for J.C. Coakley vehicles uh, <laughs> in, in this podcast, but your pirate boat like experience <laughs> idea is, I think, the best idea. I think it's fucking incredible. Has, does that exist when you just, like, it's like a pirate boat, but it's like an entire, like, immerse, it's like a like a stage show at Six Flags. Well, have, on a boat. have you been on uh, the, you know, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I was born and mm. raised? Divorce rate, very high. Mm. Very I high. I really want to go to Pittsburgh. Italians I'm, everywhere. I'm oh, uh, you know yeah. what's fascinating? I'm flying in on August 19th. Kyle Kinane and Brandy Posey will be there performing at the Rec. So I'm going in for Pittsburgh oh, Comedy yeah. Fest. Oh, sweet. So oh, we're going to be cool. in Pittsburgh together. Nice. That's How cool. fun is that? That's fun. In my hometown. So I'm going to like, they have one day and then they go up to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, but I'm staying for the whole week in Pittsburgh because I'm trying to make that festival something amazing. Mm -hmm. um, in Pittsburgh? Yeah, because they don't have a, yeah, a comedy do. festival yeah. there. And my hometown, yeah. you know, when you leave to go comedy, you don't think about going back. Yeah. But because mm -hmm. I'm doing this kind of stuff, I like g seeing what Pittsburgh has available and their comedy scenes coming up. Judah Freelander randomly said it to me. He was like, yeah. the, it, the city's coming up in, in oh, yeah. comedy. You might want to jump on this now. Yeah. So I've been working That's with good them. To know. Yeah, good to know. Great to know. Especially since. I'm not that far. Pittsburgh's not that far from Baltimore. No, and it's also not far from New York. It's like a hop skip, yeah. but it's it's worth seeing. A lot of shows are shooting there more now. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of shows are shooting. Netflix has a great presence there and also Uber uh, uh, automated vehicles. Oh, really? That's their uh, testing ground to kill people? It's their testing ground to kill people is Great. Pittsburgh. Because Great. of the divorce rate. Well, the divorce right. rate. Yeah. <laughs> I already beat you to it, bro. I already beat you to it, bro. 50% of wedding of marriages end in divorce. In Pittsburgh, it's 87%. Don't check the facts. 70, and then 70% 70 of, 70 of those 80, people are killed, are killed by cars. driverless yeah. cars. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they need their Netflix yucks there. on their phones. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, well, I mean, I, you know, I, I go back now. I've been going back a little bit more. Uh, it, that part of town, it it means a lot to me because, it, you know, I wasn't really present, I think, as a kid. I was very much trying to get out and mm -hmm. get going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now yeah. I'm able to kind of look back on it. And after Lindsay's passing, I now have gone home and connected a lot more with people and, and people from my past and checking in and seeing how people are doing. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm I find closure in it. I That's find beautiful. it to be super therapeutic. Yeah. Yeah. And creatively, if I could give back to the community with what we learned in Los Angeles mm -hmm. and help yeah. them kind of build something that yeah. we have well, here. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, you're the best. Yeah. And yeah, it's such how, a great tribute. That's like, that's incredible. Oh, it's such a great that's tribute. Such, yeah. Yeah. I, and, you know, I, I think too, learning about the city and, and being able to talk to council members, I can get involved kind of politically there too. So it's it's just yeah. nice oh, yeah. to. Is that where you're going to throw your hat in the yeah, ring? Yeah, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring in Seventh politics. Seventh movie, J.C. Coakley vehicle, <laughs> the mayor of Pittsburgh. <laughs> just trying to get my platforms heard. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I think that's happening with a lot of uh, American cities like that, like second tier, yeah. like industrial sort of cities that have are having a second wind um, because Hell hipsters. Yeah want urban sort of like people our age, millennials and yeah. whatever you call us. Yeah. Want uh, urban living, but you know, they don't want to pay to live in New York or LA necessarily. Yeah. Des Moines and Iowa, I think is having a resurgence. Also. I'm thinking to, uh, I mean, Denver always, but yeah. yeah, but Seattle, like there's just places. It, it's nice to see it pop up and flourish. Cause the more it happens, it doesn't have to just stay stationary in one state. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. when we were coming up, it was like move to LA or die. Yeah. Fuck and that. or New York City and die anyway. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. now you can go and have lucrative lifestyles and careers. But we, you know, I, for me, Los Angeles, I think is uh, worth for me staying here. But now that yeah, I'm navigating other cities, I'm like, yeah. I yeah. can do what we do. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've been in LA. How long have you lived in LA? You said 13 like 30. years. Yeah. Mm, well, that's almost as I'm 12. Yeah. We moved here maybe about. A year apart. I was here before you. I laid the groundwork down Thank for you. him. I appreciate uh, that. I was able to basically I teach him everything he knows. Yeah. 
at Public House where he if if Public House did not exist, Dan Gill would have died eating. <laughs> That's where he eats. That's where he eats ninety seven percent of his meals. That's where no, I get don't. my chicken tenders six times a week. Do you still go there? Uh, it's my cheers. Yeah. Well, I just go we to the went, study we next. We went door. there on his. We went there on his wedding night, and it was incredible. There was like nowhere else. Oh, to that's go. right. You guys got married in town. That's right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, having Wendy and Dan recap their wedding for me was really sweet. I like got to see. It. When did we do that? Uh, when so I was good. like, "How was it?" And you guys were both like nerve wracking. Oh uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Ohio. Yeah. So yeah. Good. yeah. And you were like, "Glad we like. Glad you liked it." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was like right after the wedding, wasn't it? Did you run up to Ohio? No, like, right this was their the anniversary. Mm, yeah, oh, anniversary, anniversary of the courthouse. So June. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, so, d- d- yeah. just to wrap this thing up, yeah. y- you mentioned your up. wedding. What do you, do you think you'll get married one day? Um, well, like I had informed Brett, your colleague, I'm very much an in the moment person. Yeah, uh, I find myself um, feeling the most happy when I'm in the moment and present. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think yeah. when my mind thinks about future and family, mm-hmm. um, I allow myself to put myself in the position and see if I, my body reacts to it. If I, if I want it right now, I do feel really dedicated to a lot of my activist work. Mm -hmm. Um, I really enjoy dating right now because Mm -hmm. I'm Mm -hmm. learning about human beings in a different way and seeing where I want to navigate and who I want to navigate with, um, in the right way. And I've evolved from that person that blindly dated. Now I'm getting to know human beings. Right. Um, so I can see uh, me connecting down the line, maybe like three or four times, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but I am open to it. Um, I would, I would, it would be wrong for me to say like I want a big one with cake. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I, yeah. I, I have psoriasis. I can't have cake. Oh, okay. Um, it would oh, have wow. to probably be like a really healthy food experience. Yeah. yeah. Um, like but, a fruit loaf. Yeah, like a fruit loaf. <laughs> <laughs> like Those some, are good. Those are good though. People oysters, talk shit about healthy stuff. They're good. Oysters in a fruit loaf. That would be oysters my wedding. Oysters in a fruit loaf. But I, I would That's be mazel. excited. You know, whatever the opportunity would be, and and uh, you know, I, I can see myself doing like a seven person dinner in Napa. Yeah, and gorgeous. Having it be just a really cool thing, mm-hmm. or if yeah. something happens and I become, uh, you know, I, I was going to say Dane Cook over the next like couple of years. Is that the goal, Dane yeah. Cook? And yeah, so always. when I become that, <laughs> maybe my goals change, you know, yeah. and I want a bigger wedding. So I'm in the moment. Yeah. And but- I, I love, first of all, I love that about you. And I think that is uh, the basis of our connection is, is being in the moment and like reacting and stuff. And like, I feel like I identify with that. Thank you. However, that being said, my, uh, well, in that vein, I think my dream for you is for you to run into a Laker at Whole Foods on Monday and be engaged by Tuesday. I want you to be engaged by Tuesday to Lakers first round draft pick from University of Michigan, Moritz Wagner. Maury, oh, not really? Mo. I'll do it. The I'll big do German it. Mo? That'd be actually, he'd, be, he'd probably be pretty good. Oh, he's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. Everyone of my Lakers is a sweetheart. Okay, yeah. no, yeah. I mean, everybody has goals. And I yeah. think me um, channeling that abundance could possibly happen. And I will gladly send you a photograph. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be beautiful. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I think I'm going to probably end up with a scientist, but mm. okay. maybe. Okay. Any specific yeah. scientist or just a scientist? I think a scientist. I, I'd be down chemist. with a, a botanist. Botanist. Oh, yeah. my brother's a botanist. No way. Yeah. How old's your brother? He's uh, 48. Oh, my. Uh, I, I date men between that. Is he married? No. Lives in Des Moines, Iowa. You can go start a comedy. They have a comedy scene there. His name is Doug. I'll go infiltrate. <laughs> His name is Doug. I don't know why that's the way you said that was really Doug funny. Gill? It's it Doug Gill? Doug Grubb. Only He's fact, my half brother. It was the oh. only fact that I knew about him, and I really wanted to say it. In Stop. A, in, like, in the shittiest tone. Like, <laughs> yeah. You can't marry him. His name is Doug. <laughs> hey. You can't fuck with the... I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I don't mean that, Doug, at all. You know what? Doug is just four letters. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. Mm-hmm. People created Thank the you. alphabet. Interesting. What are yeah. people? Mm. Okay, I think it's that's so a true. good I have to head out. place to that's, end. That's it, that's it right there. I that's have a to good head place out. to end, yeah. Thanks, boat. guys. Thanks, JC. Hey, how about that, JC? Didn't I tell you? Did I not tell you? You told me? I did tell you, didn't I? She's going to be a lot of boat stuff. <laughs> Love the boat. <laughs> She's going to be a lot of boat stuff.
Yeah. You know, when she comes in the room, you know she's going to be a lot of boat stuff, but she can make it work, and she made it work. She pulls it off. Yeah. Um, thanks for great listening guest. again. Great guest. Again, uh, just another reminder, we'll see you in Denver in a couple weeks at the High Plains Comedy Festival. Are you getting excited? Are you getting titillated? I am getting titillated because we've talked about this before. This is kind of like our first real honeymoon together. I just We can get away from it all. I can't wait. I can't wait to find something to watch on a hotel TV and just eat a bunch of shitty food. Oh, yeah. In our underwear. I can't wait. Just laying around in our underwear, mm-hmm. watching stuff. Yeah, just stinking up that bathroom. Farting. Farting. <laughs> I don't know what's what. I, you know what I'm saying? When you fart so much, when you're just bringing food in and also <laughs> farting in a hotel room, you don't know which way is up anymore. Yeah. You don't know what's going in, who's coming out. Yeah. I don't know. There's going to be Do a you? special. I don't care. There's going to be a special brew and funk to that room that we won't even be be able mm. to detect. A third party will have to come over and tell yeah. us what it is. It's going to be an orgy of 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 sauces and body. And that's Parts. August 23rd through the 25th in Denver, yeah. Colorado. Thanks for listening. Right. We'll see you next week. Hey, Eric. Hey, Dan. Bye. Bye, I love you, bye. Bye, I love you, bye. Milk me.